I think after when our season ended this year, just the text messages that I got from my team, like I'm about to get emotional about it because like, <laughs> but just reading some of the messages that they sent me about how much I meant to them, just to know, <laughs> just to know that I had that impact on other people. Um, just means the world to me and to know that they have the program in their hands now I just know it's in great hands and the the only way is up from here so just knowing that I had that impact on people really meant a lot to me Yeah, I think it starts with my parents, um, just learning from them, uh, their work ethic and seeing how, how they, they approach life and approach work and whatever it may be. It's to kind of just always work hard, don't take anything for granted. And if you want to be great at something, you got to put the time and the work and the effort into it. And then second, Kobe Bryant, um, his mentality is unmatched. And just whenever I came about like learning about him, and there was like instantly an attachment. Kobe Bryant, my all-time favorite player, so you know he has to go up in my room. Just taking things from him in terms of his mentality, like it doesn't matter who's in front of me. I'm going to go at you and I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to win. And I knew that that's what I wanted to be. That's what I wanted to embody. So I think to start, um, I don't really know how it happened, but I started going to this like developmental league on Sundays. It was like me and a bunch of boys. <laughs> so I'm like in there, the only girl. Um, obviously, like I started to get the hang of it, and I'm like, yo, like I really, I really love doing this. Like I like doing this. I'm cooking the boys. The boys' parents are get are giving them uh, crap for it and everything. And I was like, I really like doing this. And then in middle school, high school, like my dad's working me out all the time. Um, and I remember one day we were in the gym and he looked at me and was like, Lindsay, what, what are your goals? Like, what do you want to do? I said, I want to play, I want to play Division One basketball. And he said, okay. Uh, so if you want to do that, you can't keep shooting the way you've been shooting, right? So I'm like, okay, what does that mean? So he's like, all right, you need to raise your, uh, your release point. So it was just constant reps of that, constant reps of that. I mean, that's kind of how it, how it happened, and that's how it kind of, I guess, how the name Pull Up Pulliam has come about. She has now scored 1,618 I was kind of getting down to my last couple of schools, taking official visits, and Northwestern was my last official visit, and my mom was like, I think you should really go, and I think you'll really enjoy it. I could really feel that family environment here, and that was something that was really important to me. Um, I chose to go to Northwestern just because of the family environment. Uh, I just got a good vibe when I came on my visit. And um, just the high academics, the challenge in the classroom, and then playing in the Big Ten is what I wanted in a school. I knew it was going to be very challenging, um, but you know, I just had that mindset that and nothing's gonna get in the way of that. And I knew that my team and the people that, that were here to build that culture, it, it was gonna be something that we could, we could get done. Hamilton and Pulliam are the freshmen. Phenoms in the making. Coming in my freshman year, I think, you know, our class kind of, our class and the sophomore class made it made it cool to be in the gym all the time. It made it cool to, to put in the work and want to be great and want to win. It's going to take him a minute to figure everything out, especially all of his defensive schemes, but he feels great about this group. It was tough. Losing a lot of games is not fun, and um, but I mean, without that year, we wouldn't have been able to accomplish what we accomplished. Let's go, Cats, one, two, three. Yes. Um, I think it kind of just taught us that grit that we kind of that we have um, and just not taking anything for granted uh, just being humble and continuing to stay the course I remember an early press conference said no we're gonna win the Big Ten this year and they, you know like people kind of laugh and they're like ah oh, yeah right right I think every game we come in with a chip on our shoulder and we know people don't really respect us and uh, that's all good with us because we're gonna keep doing what we do 
Like, like I didn't really believe that, but I knew, I knew after that freshman year and coming, like freshman sophomore year and coming in that spring after we lost in the WNIT, that it was going to be a different. It was just a, a totally different vibe. If we weren't a close team on and off the court, I don't think we would be able to to win a championship. Pulley on left side, banks it in with point six seconds. And not being ranked after a couple big wins, it kept pushing us to, to prove people wrong again. Just seeing so many people come and support us, it meant the world. And obviously, it changed the, it changed the way we played. Uh, we fed off the energy of the, the crowd and the fans. It's like, wow, like we're really doing something that means something to people. Northwestern is in the mix for number one. I remember going into the game maybe like a day before, earlier that day, just talking to uh, our coach, Pop. And she was like, I know there's absolutely no way we're losing this game. And it, you, you just knew that. Like, it, it was just a feeling like this is what we worked for and we're actually about to get it. And I think, like, I remember just standing on the bench and there's a camera and pointing to the camera like, ring me, like, ring us. I, I think I'll never forget that moment of just running out and being with my team and being with the fans jumping around fans that have been there since Evanston High School um, and I think just that moment of being able to hold up that trophy was it's just unforgettable. Northwestern women's basketball team claim a share of the Big Ten regular season crown. The sports world rocked by the coronavirus. All NCAA tournaments are canceled. No basketball, not just today, but who knows here going forward? I think uh, when we were all sitting in that room and we heard that the season was canceled, it was kind of just like, wow, like it just hurt. I was, I was mad, I was upset for our seniors because they put in so much time and effort to get to this point. And they, when, when my class came in as freshmen, they took care of us. And, um, I just felt bad that they didn't get the, the right way to close out their senior year. And I think we all knew that when we were going into that tournament, it was going to be something special. A very veteran and experienced Northwestern squad that is looking to return to championship form. I mean, in a sense, it, since we were kind of in a bubble, it was just like relying on each other. We were pretty much the only people that we saw the, the whole season. Um, so just being able to trust each other, be with each other, spend time as much as we could, you know, with COVID and everything. And even like throughout the season, like I remember one game, I didn't really play well and Veronica texted me after and was like, hey, I just want you to remember how much you mean to this team and how much you, you make us go. So it just means a lot to me. The 7-10 matchup, Northwestern taking on UCF. Knowing that Four years of work, or even more than that, beyond that, um, is kind of finally coming to light. And just, you know, I know my, me and my teammates didn't come here to just make it and play in a game. Like we, we came to win. 62 to 51, our final score. And for Lindsey Pulliam, 25 points on the same day that she goes over 2,000. I think we left everything out there on the court. I think I was talking to my parents after and it was like, and they were kind of just like, you can't, you can't ask for a better ending. Like, you, I, can't, I came and I accomplished everything that I set out to do. And um, it really doesn't get better than that. And just on top of that, being with, with people that I love every day, it, it really doesn't get better than that. <laughs> uh, bro, like, no, you don't even understand, like, Literally after the game was over, just like reading some of the stuff that they sent me was crazy. Just like individually, like just saying thank you for believing in me. That that means more than scoring scoring the basketball or doing whatever I wanted to accomplish. So yeah. um, 
Yeah. Um. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Shout out to all the people that have been there to support me in my four years at Northwestern and even before. Um, shout out to my teammates, my coaches, uh, everybody that's that's helped me out along my ways at, at Northwestern. I wouldn't be here without you guys, and I can't thank you enough. And I'm so blessed to be able to be a part of this program and to be able to say that I went to Northwestern and to be able to call myself a Wildcat. It's been real. It's been a blessing. I can't wait to see what's next for the program, and um, I'm so excited for what's to come for me. With that being said, pull up out. <laughs>